Yo, welcome back, my people. It's your boy Crypto Junior UK. Hope you have been having a good day so far. It's Monday. You know, I know you lot could be back at work, could be back to school. It is what it is. We got to keep moving with life. You get what I mean, guys. If you're new to this channel, please go subscribe to the channel. What I do on this channel is I just talk to you about my personal experience in the crypto space, what I'm investing in, the crypto news what nfts i'm interested in anything related to crypto blockchain anything metaverse tokens metaverse technology nfts i'm going to be talking about that i do not do no ta i can't predict what's going to happen but i can use news to kind of tell you where people think the market is going to be i might have my own little guesses but that is not prediction that is not me saying this is going to happen because i can't tell you that unfortunately this 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 market is crazy but guys today i'm literally just going to be running through the news i've got some special xrp news at the end as well especially if you're from the uk this is to do with you but guys please just stay stay tuned keep watching and watch the video throughout it will really help me out with the algorithm and also smash that like button if you enjoy the video let's not waste any time oh that was loud um yeah let's get straight to the news okay straight on here guys crypto market oh yeah it's not looking good man i was hoping the monday would give us something great to look forward to because mondays they tend to be good sometimes you know you wake up and everything's green but on this other hand everything's red <sighs> welcome to crypto welcome to crypto people don't get disheartened by this you know i don't know what to expect anymore um running with plan b's prediction of 98k of bitcoin by the end of this month I'm, I'm still hopeful um you know a lot a lot of things take place in this space unfortunately so a lot can happen to stop that from happening but you know i'm staying positive i have no um way of me taking any profits i'm not going to be selling anything i can't buy anything so i just gotta wait and see what happens around this month but let's not waste any time bitcoin fifty-seven thousand has not moved uh we did not close at a high of 60k unfortunately we didn't close that for the week we stayed down below so uh, as people are saying um bitcoin has hit that 60k resistance that's our resistance now that's the one thing we need to break past but I'll come to the bubbles as you can see overall bubbles nothing nothing here is looking sweet top 100 right here and the market's red again we've got sand sandbox doing bits crypto.com doing all right racket is back there again mate mana is back there as well all these like nft metaverse type tokens gaming tokens are you know they're still up there solana is there as well avax is there you know the market at the moment guys i can't lie to you it's 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 not looking great we're not all laugh, laughing and smiling um but let's go back to the charts what have we got here ethereum 4.2 we're all still down uh solana is trying two percent as we saw in the bubbles xrp down 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 cardano down 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 all oh, my days everything polka dot down uh, I remember when we hit 54 dollars I think it was that was good times but avalanche as I said three mm, percent today overall in the past seven days 45 percent 44 percent man that is good numbers that you like to see there uh Shiba Inu oh meme coins doge we need CRO to get past these two meme coins we need it to get into the top 10 but I don't know how well it's going to do there because you got to knock this bad boy out. You will not, I'd, you know, I don't know how likely that will happen because Avalanche has climbed up its way. CRO needs a bit more, more money in there to get to that, to beat uh, AVEX. But we'll see. Uh, Terra Luna, Luna down, this token I'm looking to buy. I just want it to stay down. Uh, we've got your uni swap there, 10% still. Chainlink, I still don't understand how this token is not in the top 10. I i wish i knew but i don't it's crazy to me because this has been given a lot of people have been predicting big things for this stock and i can't lie to you there i'm hearing next thing from we'll beat the old time high that we had like 50 dollars then we'll get to 100 100 dollars maybe 150 some people are saying 200 i don't know what to expect anything could be crazy in this market but lord have mercy i pray that anyone who's holding link 
uh you lot if that predictions comes true i'm happy for you i'm happy for everyone who holds anything that goes parabolic guys share with me on the comments if you lot had any good parabolic moments even now even now just share it drop it in there i'll be happy for you man because you know i like hearing stuff like that i want i want people to understand that you yes you can make some 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 profit and you can also make some life-changing money which is ridiculous but it's true and you uh, you will not get that from stocks unless if you got in the dot, dot com area and got very lucky with like apple stocks or like amazon and stuff like that but it can't do that now unfortunately elrond doing amazing that's this is the one that's been pumping like nuts man like just just look at the past month all you have to do is just look at this that's parabolic movement right there well done man well done anyone holding that I'm, I'm happy for you again uh we all want people to win on this channel um again we've got reds here we haven't had a lot of movement from v chain unfortunately this is another token that i i hold i want to stack up more and more on it but you know uh, i don't know how well it's gonna do in the previous bull run i think we touched like 20 something cents maybe should be yeah 20 25 cents 20 yeah 25 cents which was the old time high it would be nice to see it get to a dollar but that would require a lot of big movements in the market and a lot of money put into that token um another exchange token here uh ftx another exchange that you lot could use if you're if you're wondering what exchanges to use mana again still performing looking happy anyone who's holding this right now and you but bought early on you're up you've been up for the whole time flow was pumping quite well but today it's down nine percent but still overall four percent up which is good which is good i ought to doing well i think there's some staking thing going on with this token i need to research this because uh i might be interested uh there's nothing better than making some passive income people just staking that's what you get let's say you've got some ada when you stake it on um uh what do you call it there's a lot of places you can stake your tokens you can stake them on exchanges sometimes and you get a return back and they pay you either in usdc usdt or whatever whatever cryptocurrency well the backed what do you call them the oh god i'm forgetting the word now stable coin they could pay you back in a stable coin or they'll pay you back with the native token so you can get paid in ada back for just staking and putting it into a pool so it's quite interesting there's a lot there's a lot that you can do with that especially if you're not planning on selling and you have just you just want to make some passive income you could literally just take all your tokens and just never look at your portfolio but again in the in the past week oh my god just look at this man 12 percent up today I'm pretty sure this got to be close to an all-time high, surely? No, no, all-time high was nearly 4.6. Yeah, no, nah, we're not 4.6 today. Jesus. What was that? Yeah, 4.6, all-time high. It's crazy. Or am I right or am I wrong? 4.6, and I am right. Sorry, these charts can look very wonky sometimes. But yeah, man, overall, the market is red. It's... There's little little profits out there. There's this token. I can't lie to you. I am definitely looking to load up on some more LX, uh, XLM. Uh, the owner of this token, well, the person who runs this token, was uh, part was uh, one of the CEOs of Ripple, but left. I think it's called Jed McCaleb or something. I'm not too sure. I could be wrong. Please correct me in the comments. I have not looked at this token in a while, but I know he was affiliated with Ripple at one point, but not anymore. Uh, on to other news guys i'm gonna try and make this nice and quick i'm aiming for under 20 minutes so we'll see what happens um as i said previously 60k becomes resistance bitcoin needs to get above 60k we need to try and get above 60k we've been hovering underneath it for a while um what does this article say here um is there anything that i'm interested in yeah uh, uh 100k uh, not 100k 60k flips to resistance after hitting five week close of 55,650 bitcoin uh to usd managed to claw back some of its uh losses on saturday and on saturday it even gapped higher it takes a swing at 60k uh we didn't unfortunately close at 60k 
we close below it but we'll see what happens man i'm just hoping i'm praying that we we find a way back up i was hoping today something major would happen since it's a monday but i don't know uh today it's just not been a good monday we'll see about that but anyway on to some other news uh southeast asian financial institutions turn to ethereum blockchain this is crazy like the, the fact that financial departments are turning to bitcoin not bitcoin to blockchain technology is crazy as we all know ethereum is a great platform you can they've got smart contracts you know a lot of tokens can be built on ethereum network you know you've got the likes of Chainlink and all them not a matic you know polygon it's it's just it's a great don't get me wrong it's a great tool but unfortunately why have we got to deal with these gas fees i am i am fed up with this token for their gas fees their gas fees are ridiculous uh, i don't know if you lot watched my previous video i bought an nft uh the stoner cats um that one it was painful enough to buy like it's not not the process but the money but then also considering you spent that money and then you see the fees like over a hundred dollars fees what, what i just yeah yeah it's long it's long so yeah I'm, I'm praying to god when they do bring out the ethereum 2.0 there is some changes to their fees i know that they've done their london fork thing where they're burning tokens which in hopes of you know probably raising the price up of the token having less circulating but i don't know man that that's the downfall for this that's why i feel like a lot of other projects like xrp when they do start running their nft platform i know that they had a crowdfunding for that not crowdfunding they put down money for like you know any creators to build nfts or put their nft projects onto the xrp ledger so i i'm i'm interested i wanted to get one of the crypto xrp punks x punks i i was very close to but the price just shot up so quickly that i could not put the money down anymore but it is what it is so yeah that's one thing that's good news on ethereum uh we've got some nice uh overseas adoption in uh in asian in asian country so it'll be nice to see what happens with that and also a big interesting one for me i i used to be a sneakerhead back in the day but it says just buy it uh you know nike is just do it but just buy it uh nike wants to bring sneakerheads into the metaverse this is nuts man oh i saw this come in and it's a great great opportunity don't get me wrong like if you lot play gta or, st or anything like that you know you could go to a, a clothing shop in there imagine you're in them in the metaverse and you can just go to a store and you can buy shoes but the shoes are not like gimmicks of actual brands you're you're actually buying the actual brand like nike adidas all of them and you never know one of these shoes could be an nft you could present the shoes as an nft in a in a metaverse and some shoes already to this day are collectibles so they might make those shoes in the metaverse collectibles so it gives you a chance to own the shoe virtually even if you didn't get it like you know physically so i think it's a great concept don't get me wrong it might not attract people who are not into shoes but they could do it with watches they could do it with certain clothing they could do it with cars they could do it with you know houses they could do it with you know anything anything that you're into a lot of business opportunity if this metaverse stuff starts becoming more and more real and the technology is actually not because it could get to a point you know how now we're playing games on like straight up 4k to 8k you know i i, I imagine that the metaverse at the moment is not going to look perfect because technology is not the thing yet but imagine when it does get to that point if you have watched black mirror i would suggest to go and watch that because it kind of takes you into that area of the world and ready player one if you haven't as well but guys this is big news nike intends to sell you digital products in the metaverse and you buy them because nike knows how to make you want them and it's true if you love kicks and they look nice and you know here's what it is you want to flex in real life and in the metaverse that's what it is <laughs> they know what they're doing great marketing i like the idea i wonder what, what's going to happen um guys if you don't know about the metaverse please go research it um australian senator says DeFi is not going anywhere anytime soon it's true you can't 
Decentralized finance is, I'm telling you, I'm telling you now, it's not going anywhere. There is way too much money in crypto for it to disappear anywhere. The only thing that people now can do is try and adapt to it because you can't run away from it. It's decentralized already. What are you going to do about it? There's no regulations about it. What are you going to do about it? There's money there. What are you going to do about it? The government need to tax it. They need to make some money out of it because there's a lot of money being made out of it. You ain't going to make money if you ban it. The only way to make money is capitalize on what's going on. Make some regulations and start taxing people legally, properly. You know, but it's one of those things. It's, as she says, like this, this is basically a huge statement. Like decentralized finance underpinned by blockchain technology will present incredible opportunities. Australian must, Australia mustn't be left behind by the fear of the unknown. It's true. And that goes to everyone here. I am not a financial advisor. I do not give financial advice, but please just take yourself, give yourself some time to just sit and understand what DeFi is, what Web3 is, what all of this stuff is crypto i understand that you know not everyone wants to look at this and understand it because it sounds like old gibberish it all sounds like nah it's too technical or it sounds like a scam but unfortunately it's not so there are scams out there a lot of cryptocurrencies that are scams but the the technology is not the technology works the, the technology cuts out a lot of middlemen and a lot of you know fees it makes things work a lot more efficient so please take some time to understand what's going on you've got people in australia talking about this ministers in australia talking about this so don't get too scared another news as well moon pay i know you lot so i don't know if you saw one of my videos when i mentioned that post malone i'm watching the time because i bet be under 20 minutes i'm gonna try and wrap this up post malone uh did on his music video i don't know which one it is but he bought uh bought ape nft uh using moonpay i don't know if you lot saw that but yeah this is the company crypto startup moonpay raises 555 million to hit 3.4 billion uh valuation Launched in 2019, MoonPay says it's processed more than 2 billion in transactions and hit 7 million users so far. That's mad. That's just crazy. That is crazy to me. Just to understand, you, you, you see the figures there. Yeah, that's that's real money. That's a lot of people putting money towards that. That's a lot of users using that platform. So guys, please don't don't look don't look at this. I'm just showing you the news so you you know what I'm saying. Like follow where the money is going. That's it. Just follow where the money is going. Don't have to put your money in there, but just understand why it's going there. Try and research why it's going there. So yeah, man, this is big, big big news for MoonPay for sure. I don't use that, you know, so it's not really a thing that I'm I, I, I'm too fascinated into. But it is what it is. That's good news. This is great news for crypto um more news on the uk side the europe side if you lot are from the uk this is big this is big and when i mean big because it's so ironic because what she's saying there is one team under that that board of the people trying to achieve this who's getting sued by the sec in america which is crazy but it is what it is but anyway the bank of england i'm taking the time the bank of england i'm gonna oh, i'm gonna breach it i'm gonna breach it there's no way i tried i tried but anyway the bank of england uh victoria cleland talks about how central banks and the private sector will work together to make international payments better and easier for everyone i'll keep reading working together to enhance cross-border payments guys you know i love xrp you know i'm a big fan who who is the one person working with the a digital british pound foundation ripple and what do ripple utilize they utilize xrp and why do they utilize it to make cross-border payments better yeah connect the dots i'm not trying to be no conspiracy theorist but this is coming from the bank of england themselves and i'm pretty sure they had like some meeting together with the british foundation the digital british foundation digital pound foundation talking about how they're going to create their you know cbds uh yeah this is nuts this is nuts to me so yeah man of course we know ripple uh working underneath that uh digital pound foundation to help britain make their digital coin 
And this statement coming out from the Bank of England kind of clarifies that for me. So I don't understand why people have no hope in Ripple. XRP, the token again, is just a token they're using to help us with this issue of sending money across borders. As you know, if you've tried to send money like to a different country, let's say America or Canada or something like that, it will cost you money. The more money you put in there, the more fees you're going to have to pay. This will solve this. This cross-border payment using like the systems they want to use if they use the Ripple Net. That's what will happen. This will be this would make sending money so much easier. So I'm interested to see what happens with this case. I really hope it ends because they are getting sued for no reason. The way they've went about it is crazy. Sleechy enforcement by reg regulation by enforcement. And as I say that, I'm jumping straight into this. Um, SEC, they put on their Twitter, literally on the November 19th, we've made quite a productive year and look forward to moving the needle even further in 2022. So our division of enforcement filed six, 697 total enforcement actions. All right, boom. So our guy, John E. Deaton here, guys, if you don't follow him and you're interested in the Ripple case, please go follow him. He literally, I've learned so much from what the information is put out, including Jeremy Hogan. There's a lot of people there, digital asset investor, like they all literally dig up so much information. It's ridiculous. I've learned so much from these guys. So I suggest go follow them. He says regulation by enforcement. And it's true. It's true. I don't understand how they're getting sued and they do not even match up the the howie test they don't they don't like the the howie test they're claiming their security but we've got an important date on uh, the ripple lawsuit i'm not sure if it's the 12th of december but it's in december early december the sec are gonna have to clarify how xrp is a security using the howie test yeah that's gonna be interesting we'll see what happens there because that's big and we all know that it doesn't meet that so we'll see what happens because you have to get all four all four to meet the howie test and see what happens but anyway guys that is literally it for today as i said like these type of days in the market they're kind of low not too much news circulating but you know as we all know the top top rule winner is the crypto.com token holders you lot well done i'm so happy for you you're doing great and um, I hope that that token keeps flying for you. That exchange is very easy to use. I cannot lie to you. I prefer it, especially for new people in crypto. You do not want to be looking at trading pairs. Trading pairs can throw you off. Whereas with crypto.com, it's just straightforward. You find the token and you pay a fiat. You don't have to find a trading pair. You don't have to find a USDC, whatever, USDT. You don't have to find any of that. You literally just pay with the pounds that you put in and you find the token and you pay for it. It gives you the equivalent of what you pay for that in the token. So yeah, it's great. So I'm hoping that that exchange does well as uh, is one of the easiest to use as well as Coinbase. But yeah, man, guys, I hope you lot have a, have a good evening, a good day and uh, please, subscribe to the channel like the video i'll really appreciate it honestly i i promise to post every single day it might not be a video but you will get like a short a youtube video short and youtube videos again i'll be updating you on everything that i know in the market so you guys have a blessed day uh it's been your boy crypto junior peace